Good Wednesday morning with Manhattan being farther west. The sky is already mostly clear and the wind's not nearly as strong. It's blowing near 10 miles per hour, so that's not too bad of a February morning. And there's a look at downtown Topeka. The temperature 31. The wind's still at 18, gusting well over 25 miles per hour. Uh, the dew point pretty low and we're getting our drier air to gradually move in. Uh, we're getting the clouds to gradually work their way out. And anything that we had west and south is certainly working its way farther and farther away, but still a couple of rain showers and snow showers really far east and southeast. And then just outside of the KC Metro, we have some light flurries and snow showers. Heavier snow, though, St. Louis up towards Chicago. That's going to be moving into places like Indianapolis later today, so that keeps getting farther away. Clouds breaking up pretty nicely, although what's going on right there in areas of Iowa toward Omaha, that will drift down a bit to keep us at least variably cloudy going through early morning here. So with sun coming up in the east and clouds in that area, it may be mostly cloudy from time to time, but there's our stronger wind in the central and eastern areas. Less wind the farther west you go, but it picks right back up again toward Concordia, Cocker City, and getting down toward the Salina area. Wind chills are in the mid and upper teens at most locations with that stronger wind. And there's a look at the cold air. It's 19 in Amarillo, 19 in Garden City, 10 in Goodland. So a lot of that sliding down on the back side of the departing low, and that's what's going to keep it really chilly today. So there's the trough that will slowly keep working east. Then we're going to get this massive ridge to start building in from the Four Corners area in the southwest, and that's going to warm up pretty sharply. We'll start to tap into more of a south and southwest wind, and then the temperatures just keep climbing gradually, at least initially through Thursday and Friday, and then it really starts to pop. So clouds decrease this morning. We end up with lots of afternoon sunshine. And if that wind can diminish fast, it shouldn't be too terribly bad, but it will only reach about 38 to 40 degrees today. Clear, not nearly as cold in the overnight. And then tomorrow we're going to be partly sunny. A couple of clouds could kind of drift on through. Not too much else happening with that. And then we should get a lot of sunshine on Friday and Saturday. So for today, 30s will likely do it. The wind will make it feel a good 5 or 10 degrees colder than it actually is. And then through the overnight, a very light southwest wind, a clear sky, dropping to 20 areas in the north and northwest might be in the mid-teens. And then tomorrow we go 49, the day after that 54. And there's your 60 showing up as we end February and get into March, going 60 on Saturday, a 63 on Sunday. Now clouds may increase for us on Sunday. And then Monday into Tuesday, we're looking at developing late day showers on Monday and a bit rainy on Tuesday, but it only drops off to 52.